Stay down. Really, guys? Are you almost here, Excellent. Young? Excellent. Will do. <laughs> yeah. Without further ado, allow me to introduce Yagamishi and Kaito-san. The gentlemen I mentioned before. They are, without a doubt, the finest private eyes in Kamurocho. Ah, yes. Tsukumo-san here has certainly been singing your praises. My name is Okuda. I'm the chairman of a private high school. Serio, if you've heard of it. Serio High. Isn't that where those kids were from? Yeah. Ones from earlier. Is something the matter? We actually ran into some of your students today. There must have been seven, eight of them. They were harassing a restaurant worker and recording it on their phone. Oh boy. And I'm guessing you didn't just stand and watch? You bet your I had to knock a little sense into those brats. You mean there was an altercation? I. Perhaps I should pretend not to have heard that. Come on, pal. Why don't we cut the formal crap and tell it like it is? Because that would be unprofessional, Kaito-san. Chairman, we'd like to start investigating tomorrow. So would you mind sharing any background information you may have? Certainly, yes. Our administration has a very firm stance against bullying. Yet no policy is foolproof, and each situation is unique. 
We continually ask ourselves, are we taking proper measures to foster a supportive environment? Or, if enmity is already prevalent among the student body, are we addressing their concerns promptly enough? I believe the key is prevention. Stop bullying before it starts. And you're hiring detectives to help? Oh, yes. See, as this thought was dawning on me, I happened to cross a sign. Yokohama 99, it read. I visited your webpage, actually, and I discovered just how well-versed you were at this very matter. At that moment, I knew fate was guiding my hand. Sounds like you walked right out of a commercial. In most situations we've dealt with, we knew who the problem was beforehand. All we needed to do was get the evidence. But in this case, we don't even know if there's a bully in the first place. Hence why we called in the reinforcements. So, I take it you have some sort of plan? Of course. We're going to start by spreading hidden cameras throughout the school anywhere that bullying is most likely to occur. This footage should provide a detailed snapshot of student interaction that would otherwise go unnoticed. Then, after a two-week test run, we'll compile our data and present our initial analysis. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned spy cam. Yes, but if one of these spy cams were found, the whole operation could be compromised. As such, our pair of experts are intimately familiar with the complexities of human behavior, ensuring these cameras remain hidden. Damn, you make me want to hire us. This secret stays between you and us, Chairman. Not even the guards or teachers can know. Do I have that correct? You do. I believe the more people who know, the more likely it is this would get out. At any rate, I've heard Yagami-san here has tackled many a difficult case in Kamrojo. I'm glad to have such a reliable detective on the job. You have my full confidence and backing. <laughs> they just keep raising the bar on us, don't they? So, Yagamishi, if there's anything you'd like to ask the chairman, now's your chance. Hey, good idea. We might learn a thing or two from watching the master at work. Way to put me on the spot, guys. But might as well. In the event we do uncover bullying, what action would you take? Of course, we would provide appropriate counseling, in addition to notifying the local authorities. Wouldn't that mean increasing the teacher's workload? Interviewing students, filling out paperwork. That could lead to making people not want to bother reporting it. Hmm. Sad to say, I can't rule out that possibility. The teachers have so much on their plate as it is. I doubt they'd volunteer to look for any extra trouble. That is why we must strike at the root of it. What if you offered your staff a bonus for catching any bullies in the act? <laughs> I know that'd motivate me. Uh, you don't think that'd backfire? <laughs> Actually, it might be worth considering. But the fact of the matter remains. Bullying has no perfect solution. So, we never actually resolved this, but we did get into a scuffle with your students. No one got hurt, but how do you feel about that? Uh, well, uh, I'm afraid I have to remain ignorant of that. Fine, but let me tell you one thing. Next time I see your students harassing someone, it's gonna be lights out. The kitty gloves are off. <laughs> That also part of the Yagami Detective Agency package? Of course. And it's not enough for the teachers to be on full alert? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid I can't fully trust whatever they jot down on some report. Okuda-san. You mentioned you couldn't trust your teacher's reports. Why is that? Uh, human error, I suppose. 
Behavior can be ambiguous, and it is difficult to notice every little detail. Your first response seemed to hint at something else. Yes. Yes, I suppose it did. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, oh, where should I begin? You see, folks, it has been almost four years since the suicide of one of our students. Poor boy hung himself at home. You mean, because he was being bullied? Not on paper, at least. We established a committee to investigate, but they never turned up anything. Neither did the court. Wait, you were taken to court? Yes. One of the student's parents filed a lawsuit. Now, there were online postings that may or may not have hinted at bullying. But the prosecution never found substantial evidence, and the court ruled we were in the clear. If I can ask your honest opinion, was there really no bullying, Chairman? I would like to believe there wasn't. But I may have been too far removed from the classroom to say that in good faith. Every day I watch our students come to school, and what I see are young, happy kids. They're all so full of life, with bright futures ahead of them. However, around two months ago, we lost contact with one of our student teachers. Everyone assumes it's a mental health issue. The hell? <laughs> Don't tell me he got picked on too. That could have been the case. But I didn't get enough details to say for sure. From what I'd observed, he appeared to be getting along quite well with the students. But I later heard his family had reported him missing. At the end of the day, I'm asking you to shed light on the darkness that's plagued my school. That is why I went the detective route. I think this conversation has been enlightening. Any thoughts, Tsukumo? Hmm, what else is there? I suppose we'll have to see when we get there. We may have more questions then. That would be fine. Alright then. Time to dig in or what? Are you really pretending you waited? You've been nibbling this whole time. <laughs> you call this nibbling? Hey waiter, I want to place an order. And tell your chef, I hope his kitchen can handle this heat. Uh, I take it this place isn't exactly cheap? Don't you worry about that, Yagamishi. The bill's on us. It's your welcoming party, remember? In that case... Uh, excuse me. I'm ready to order too. So, how was that for your first day's work? I realize that meeting was a lot to take in, but the task at hand seems pretty straightforward. Oh yeah. What was that you said about using hidden cameras? Tomorrow we'll be deciding where to put them. We don't have all that many, so you know. Oh, and we'll be dressed as AC repairmen. What? You gonna make us wear uniforms? <laughs> of course. Freshly laundered and ready for duty. As you may recall, 
only the chairman is aware of our investigation. We must therefore deceive both student and faculty. Sounds like a plan to me. For now, let's call it a night. <laughs> You've got a point there. In any case, try to make yourselves at home. Apologies in advance if you find our amenities wanting. Yagami-san. Huh? <laughs> hey! Yeah. Huh? <laughs> huh? Gotcha. Yeah. Excuse me.
<laughs> hey. Yep. Are you serious? <sighs> I owe you one. Yagamishi, remember those uniforms I mentioned yesterday? You'll need to put one on before we go. They should be a perfect fit. <laughs> After all, there's no information I can't find, body measurements included. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You've never been one to miss a detail. What's up with those guys? They sure look like men on a mission. But for what? We will now commence our journey by taxi to Seiwayo High. Gentlemen, are we all ready? Remember, this case can open up a lot for us depending on how we solve it. So let's leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Don't worry. No case is too big or too small. We always swing for the fences. Ain't that right, Tom? <laughs> know it. Good. Then let's get going.
And stay down. Ah, you must be the repairman. The chairman said you'd be here. I take it you know where you're going? Yes, but thank you anyway. Ooh, this place reeks of money. Uh, they are a prestigious prep school. Wonder if the kids are on recess. So, our first order of business is to analyze the layout of the school. The schoolyard should provide the proper vantage point. Let's head there. It seems this school's design is fairly conventional. See, there's the classroom building, and that must be the gym. By the way, how many spy cams do we have? Twenty in total, all of which feed directly to my computer. Think we ought to split them up between us? We could, but that might draw extra attention. We stick out enough as is, so people will wonder what we're doing alone. But if we moved in pairs, they'd write us off a lot easier. <laughs> Clever as always, Yagamishi. Huh. That reminds me of something. When a con man pretends to be a cop, they'll usually bring along a partner. It seems the added person adds legitimacy. Unless you're a natural skeptic. All that is to say, Yagamishi knows his material. Hear that, Tom? Huh? <laughs> Very funny. So, how about Kaito-san and I take half the cameras and you guys take the rest? Where are they, anyway? Right here. Now these cameras don't see very far, but they do see wide. 150 degrees, to be precise. So let's try to set them up where we think a bully would be most likely to strike. So, we just gotta find the teacher's blind spots, eh? <laughs> You're looking at a natural buddy. You would brag about something like that, Kaito-san. <laughs> Better stop before I blush. All right. Guys, I think it's time for action. Okay, Tak and I'll start here. And you guys can work your way around opposite us. Affirmative. We've only got ten cameras, so we gotta use them smart. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's where you drop love letters to your crush. Which... Dude, what century did you go to school in? Look, whatever. All I'm saying is... That many? Just for the lockers? Yep. See, a school never has that many blind spots. So when you do find one, you make it special. A 
This one's pinging my radar pretty hard here. Huh. After that, sure, let's do it. Sukumo reporting in. I see you've set up a few cameras already. Feed is coming in nice and clear. You guys are doing awesome. Thanks. That's things on your end. We just finished with the back of the gym. Next up is the classroom building. Copy that. All right, Tuck. Just follow my lead. The boys will handle this floor. So let's go up one more. Gotcha. Every bully loves a good pair of stairs. <laughs> Pushing someone down them ruins their day pretty quick. You think it's really that often? Still, it is a blind spot. Yep. Close corners make for poor visibility. Making this a number one choice among assholes. You don't say. All right, then let's get a camera here. All right, let's move up to the next floor. Yagami sheep. Are you perhaps on the second floor? Yeah, we're about to start setting up. Okay, we're almost done with the first floor, and we'll be heading to the east building after. I think we can handle that all on our own. So can you finish up the second and third floors here? Sure, not a problem. Splitting up for a bit shouldn't hurt. How about I take the second floor and you do the third? Works for me. Looking for something, pal? Yeah, I'm kind of busy, in case you couldn't tell.
Sounds to me like you want to get reported. Slacking on the clock. What a winner. Wow. Way to be a jackass. And who says I'm slacking off? We're allowed to take breaks any time. Not that it's any of your business. Sounds to me wow. like you were allowed. Here, thousand yen, no questions asked. That'll cover a pack of smokes, maybe two. You're saying I should take this? Well, yeah. Kinda sucks asking you to move on your break. <laughs> you know, you're not such a bad guy. In all honesty, uh, the budget's been tight this month. Kaito-san, I'm done setting up the third floor. Same. I've hit up every blind spot I could think of. Thing is, I've still got two cameras left. Maybe this tight corridor might be good. The teachers probably pass by without a second glance. Hey Kaito-san, don't you think we should be installing these in classrooms? Isn't that where bullying primarily takes place? You might be professionals. We'll just have to make do with what we've got. We should set this camera up wherever we can get the broadest. How about the ceiling in the middle of the hall? Then we'll see everyone going in and out of class. Okay, Tuck, I'm gonna give you a boost. So make sure you find a good spot for that thing, okay? Uh-huh. You know, we totally could have done this during recess. Everyone's just staring at us. Too late to whine now. Just do what you gotta do and be done with it. Huh? saw them, right? Those kids who started trouble at the restaurant. You noticed too, huh? Classroom 2-2. Sounds like we've got some bullies in there for sure. That'll be a prime spot for the last camera. All right. Just make sure they don't see your face. Excuse me, but I don't recall there being an inspection today. Uh... Uh... Oh... Sorry to be in your way, ma'am. We won't take long. I understand. But nobody notified me we'd have any interruptions. Yeah. And nobody notified us this school hired such gorgeous teachers. You know what? I don't seem to recognize either of you. Probably because our usual repairmen were here just last month. 
Uh, I can't say I know anything about that. We're just here doing our job, ma'am. You can call me Sawa-sensei, not ma'am. And you're in my classroom. Forgive me, but who, may I ask, called you here? So, this is how it's gonna be, huh? Is this how you treat people who work for you? I... I beg your pardon? You call us here, put us to work. Then you give us the third degree? Not our fault you weren't notified by your own school. Isn't it the teacher's responsibility to keep track of scheduled maintenance? But hey, what do I know? We'll just pack up and go. Uh, now, just a minute. I've been in this business a long time, and not once have I been insulted like this. We could have been in and out of here in under a minute, but whatever, you're a problem now. And you better believe we'll be reporting this little exchange to your boss. Uh, really, there's no need to go that far. You'll be done in under a minute? 40 seconds if you like. Well, if it really is that quick, fine. Then let's just take care of it. That's 40 seconds for the young of you, but I can get it done in 35. Right, of course. Please continue as you were. And I apologize for grilling you like that. <sighs> Consider it water under the bridge. Why ruin our budding relationship over a little misunderstanding? <sighs> I suppose. Come on, Teach. No need to be so down. You know what they say. Nothing ruins a pretty face faster than a frown. What? <laughs> uh, ignore him, please. Like I said, we'll get this done quick and be out of your hair. And we're done. Sorry again for the disturbance. We'll be going now. The hell was that, Kaito-san? You forget we're working here? Yeah, but man, that chick's the spitting image of a teacher I had a crush on. One of my few good school memories. What, so that makes me the bad guy? All right, all right. Back to work. I get it. This is Tsukumo reporting in. Yagamishi, please respond. Hey, man. We just finished setting up the cameras. Good. So did we. Could you and Kaito-san meet us at the gymnasium, then? It's empty at the moment. I thought we might as well check the camera feed and discuss what to do moving forward. Got it. Then we'll see you at the gym. Excellent work, gentlemen. All cameras are fully operational. So, now all we do is sit back and watch? Something like that, yes. By the way, Yagamishi, I noticed you installed a camera in a classroom. Did you find a lead there or something? Yeah, that classroom had those problem kids from yesterday. Thought they'd be worth keeping an eye on. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, nothing unusual's turned up yet. Guess we'll have to watch and wait. If there's any bullying happening at this school, this is a surefire way to find out. <sighs> Wrong as it is, there's something about smoking in school that makes it feel twice as good. You're awfully nostalgic today, Kaito-san. Yeah, well, my school wasn't as fancy as this one. Plus, I dropped out after a year. Uh-oh. Guys, check this out. I think we may have found something. 
What is it? This is the classroom where Yagamishi set up the camera. Class 2-2. Two, two. Them again. Now they're picking on a girl. Whoa. Did you see that? Oh, no, no. They're writing something on her? With a permanent marker? Yo, talk. Let's go kick the shit out of those pumps. No way I'm letting that slide. Yeah, this is a problem. Hold on, Yagami-san. What now? Looks like they got what they came for. They're already leaving the classroom. Man, why's nobody helping her? It, it's like they don't even want to see it. Kids think this doesn't involve you? Let's go, Kaito-san. I want to see what happened with my own two eyes. Yeah. I suppose we should report this to our client. I didn't expect to find anything this quickly, though. But now, we have irrefutable evidence that bullying is real here at Serio. We'll have to take this up with the chairman and see how we should proceed. saw on camera. Let's get a little closer and see how she's doing. Hey. What the? Hey. Suspicious. Suspicious. This is Tsukumo, paging Yagamishi. Yeah, what's up? I've just reported our findings to the chairman. Could you meet us here? His office is on the third floor of the East Building. On our way. Please, come in. Huh? You're that teacher. Sawa-sensei, wasn't it? To what do we owe the pleasure? All of these men are detectives? Yes, and I'd like you to keep their identities a secret. These gentlemen here are Yakami-san and Kaito-san. I see. Very well, then. I've explained the situation to Sawa-sensei, our homeroom teacher for Class 